2017. He had that really good run in 2017, earned the bronze at the World Championships, then went out and powered his way to a U23 gold medal at the World Championships three months later. He is compact and he is solid at 77 kilos as Vlasov gets ready to go. Russia and Turkey semifinal at 77. Turkey in the white and red, Russia in the blue. See Chin G's lead in with that shoulder. That's his approach. So powerful. Those short, compact arms. Tree trunks for in the lower half of the legs. See the height differential with Vlasov and Chin G's. Russia keeping those elbows tight, not letting the powerful turkey wrestler get those arms in. He's going to try to bury him in there. Now Russia circling into a position on the edge of the mat. Chen Jis does a nice job of getting back into the center. Both these wrestlers a pretty healthy tempo early on in the opening minute. Crowd getting a little antsy. They want maybe a passivity on Russia just because of where those elbows are. But I think he's doing enough to, to merit the no call there. Now he tries to work that Russian tie. Had the arm, had both hands on the arm for a moment. Switches to the other side. And here comes that passivity call. And it comes quite 90 seconds into the opening period. Chin Jis will get the point. And let's see what he elects to do. He wants to work on top in parterre. Once again, just reminding you, with the rule changes a couple of years ago, wrestlers have the option. The officials don't have to order parterre in a period like they had to in previous rules. He'll look for that reverse lift, and then, just as he went to reposition, a quick explosion by Vlasov. And he's up and away, onto his feet. Two very, very strong athletes pounding each other with those shoulders. It's Chin G's lead in. That's how he likes to play it. You see more of the hand control coming from the Russian. Likes to get those ties, in particular that two on one. Use those long arms to his advantage, try to put the clamps on, and then maybe work at some pass bys off that tie. Inside a minute to go in this first period. 1-0, the passivity point, that's been it. And G's getting worn to pick up his pace a little bit. Again, working off that tie. Look for that drag down, not there. Both wrestlers will go chest to chest for the final few seconds, and the first period will come to an end, but you can bet that in that Russian corner, they know they're going to have an opportunity to get the equalizer pretty early in this second period. Already the verbal warning given to Chen Jis. He was the wrestler who scored first on the passivity and now trying to get some oxygen into those lungs. It's Roman Vlasov, and there is the compact powerhouse in Fatih Chen Jis. Hey, look at Vlasov, 77 kilos. He's the defending champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist. Good to see him back in the Russian lineup. Withdrew from the World Championships just a couple of weeks before the start of the competition in Budapest due to knee surgery. So he spent a good chunk of the latter portions of 2018, the early stages of 2019, nursing that knee. Two-time Olympic gold medalist trying to get healthy, using these European championships as his return engagement in a dogfight with Chin Jis. And a quick whistle. 
We'll see how long the official lets it go before he gives the two-time Olympic champion a chance to go on top from Parterre. One nothing. Chen Ji's with the lead for now. going to get a whistle pretty quick and here it comes so that will tie it up it's about right 40 seconds into the period that's what I was thinking when we would be able to get that and a quick time as that cut above the left eye of Roman Vlasov is popped open so they're going to go over they're going to allow a blood timeout and quickly they will go to work on him and a big big moment in this match coming up in this semifinal. Lasov was cut earlier today. I believe it was the second round match. Is the one that opened up the wound right above his eyebrow, really right on his eyebrow. So that's not from this bout. That was earlier today in trying to get into this semifinal round. Russia in a position with their fleet of talented wrestlers to completely dominate these European championships, just like they did the World Championships in Budapest. It is a lineup just stocked, stocked with champions, medalists, incredible wrestling room in Greco-Roman for Russia. Now one thing with this timeout, both of these wrestlers are going to be fully charged. Their batteries are ready to go hard for the final two minutes. This is going to be fun. 1-1. One, one. Lasov for the first time working off Parterre in the top. Again, Chen Ji's is recouped underneath, so he won't be tired. He'll be ready to buckle. Trying to get momentum off to the side. Could not pull that off was Vlasov. Drapes over to the left. Now tries to get a lift. And G's able to get back down to his base for a moment. But there's Vlasov again. He has him up into the air. Vlasov carries. Now he's patient. He's steady in his position. He throws him over and they go two. Back not fully exposed. He'll try again, but he loses his grip and back down to the mat. Three to one, Russia. Boy, it was close. He was waiting, waiting, waiting for that momentum to, to finally get going. And at the last second, Chin Jis was able to turn and just give up the two. And again, we have a blood timeout as that hatch job did not last very long. So they're gonna start fresh. Let's take a look at it. You now he carried him for a good five or six seconds as he gets ready for the thrust and clearly two. No exposure whatsoever. That's what makes this sport so entertaining. Moments like that where it can go either way. See the blood timeout. Olympic champion has used quite a bit of it. So that clock will continue to count down. Trainer is working vigorously under the clock to try to get it all corrected. In the meantime, Chin Jis has had plenty of time to think strategy, try to figure out a way to get some offense generated against Roman Vlasov in that turkey corner anxiously awaiting the whistle and the start of action. Winner of this bout will take on Germany's Roland Schwarz. He put up 10. I never saw it, but I heard it. I think he launched his opponent a couple of times as I felt the vibrations on press row and Germany puts up 10. So it will be a Roland Schwarz to take on the winner of this one here. Schwartz had that good run last year at the 
European Championships. That's a weight class that Germany has traditionally produced some pretty good talent with Pascalai Zeli, who represented Germany at the Worlds in Budapest. All right, back to action here. Three to one, Vlasov on top, 90 seconds to go, second and final period. Chen Ji's needs something. Thinking two, four would be better if you're Turkey. Each wrestler has been hit with one passivity. Both wrestlers a chance to work in the top position off parterre. And that's the difference as Russia was able to get the two. Genji's trying a lot of different approaches, trying to get that right arm in for an underhook, working a series of ties, collar ties, and a whistle and a restart into the center with 44 seconds to go. World bronze medalists from two years ago, Fati Chinzis. <laughs> Inside 25 seconds. Think about Vlasov, and he's a two-time Olympic champion, so he's not going to put himself in any danger. He's smart. He knows where to go. Keeps those elbows in, not allowing Turkey to get inside. So this is a tough draw. When you fall behind Vlasov, it is tough cooking to try to find some points, and Fatih Chenziz simply could not. The two exchange hands, two of the best that this sport has to offer at 77 kilos, and Russia emerges with the victory. The two-time Olympic gold medalist Roman Vlasov wins three to one, and now he will have a matchup against Roland Schwarz of Germany, who has put a lot of points on the board over the past six hours.